I like to be reminded of this verse found in 1 Peter 4, 8 often because it is so true and it says this, And above all things have fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sins. When we have deep love for other people, when sin happens, we can overcome it with a love for them that is unexplainable. Just as God has covered our sin through the sacrifice of his own son, Jesus Christ, that's unexplainable to my mind, how he would give up his only son to die on the cross for my sins. Thus, when we have sin that people do to us because we love them, we can overcome that sin. We can forgive them of that sin because of the love that we have for them. So let us practice to be like Christ and forgive the wrongs that others commit against us. That's what, as a church, we must be an example of. Now, there are consequences for sin. There's things that people have to be held accountable to, but that does not that mean that we cannot forgive them and love them and help them to do better. So let us be examples to the community. Let us be examples in our church. Let us be examples in our home to love others, have a fervent love, it says, a great, deep, burning love for other people, not only our family, but our friends, our church members, and even our neighbors. Let us show forgiveness as Christ has forgiven us. And that's what will make a difference in this world. And others will see our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through us when we cover a multitude of sins by our love for other people. So think about that today. Read 1 Peter 4, 8, and let us practice what Christ has taught us. God bless you, and have a great rest of the day.